I got bad news for the RTX 40 series, Zen 4's release date was leaked, and Intel Arc is finally here. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Recoverit. Recoverit is a data loss recovery and prevention tool that could save you a lot of money and time if you find yourself accidentally deleting files or trying to repair destroyed ones. We all know how important data is these days, so ensuring you keep it safe and having ways to recover it is an absolute must. And with a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot, as well as a 4.6 out of 5 stars as rated by users, Recoverit is a great and reliable way to do so. Not only that, but Recoverit supports over 2,000 plus storage devices and 1,000 plus file type, so no matter what you're doing, you can rest assured Recoverit has your back. So if you're interested in keeping your data safe and you want to support the channel, be sure to click the link in the description below to find out more. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off with Ryzen 7000, as yes, it looks like we do actually have a leaked release date for these upcoming next generation CPUs coming out from AMD. Now, according to a tweet that was posted over by at WXNOD, we can see here that a translation of a picture that he put up here, which does appear to be some sort of meeting showing off the new AM5 platform over in China does indeed state that they could be coming out on September 15th and honestly guys I do think this does make a ton of sense because we also do know that it's very likely that the RTX 4090 also could be unveiled in September with availability coming in late September so if AMD did want to take advantage of a bunch of people wanting to go out and upgrade to the RTX 40 series or even the RX 7000 series which is rumored to be coming out a little bit after the RTX 40 series it would make sense for AMD to come out and actually release the RX 7000 thousand series before both of those new generation of GPUs are launched so that you can go ahead and build a whole new system because although there are a lot of people who just like to go ahead and grab a new GPU and throw it in their existing system there's also a lot of people who like to build all new systems when a big generational leap in graphics performance is realized so yeah this makes a ton of sense and if we go ahead and we take a look at the picture here it definitely looks official and video cards actually posted below that asking for more information and the guy did respond by saying it was an offline dealer promotion meeting of AMD China with in information on the upcoming AM5 platform. Now one more piece of information that we got about the Ryzen 7000 series actually comes from the well-known leaker Graymon55 over on Twitter where he had this to say about what SKUs are going to be coming out. Quote, 7950X, 7900X, 7800X, and 7600X. 7700X is still not in the first lineup. So there you have it, there's all the information I have on the release date as well as what SKUs are going to be possibly releasing when the Ryzen 7000 series does end up coming out. Now I do know that there's a lot of people who are very excited about the AM5 platform because we all know that the AM4 platform was a great platform to buy into as it did give us years and years of upgrade path uh, for a various different amount of CPUs that were released over the last you know four or five years for the AM4 platform. So hopefully the same thing does end up being true about the AM5 platform and AMD comes out and actually commits to maybe four or five years of support for the AM5 platform so we can get that same value out of AM5 that we once got out of AM4. But now let's go ahead and talk about the RTX 40 series because guys, I got some pretty wild information to share with you about the power draw for the 40 series. It seems like every single day that goes by, the power draw for the RTX 40 series in terms of the leaks keeps going up and up and up and up. And today it looks like I got some even worse information when it comes to the top end SKU that's likely gonna be the RTX 4090 Ti. Now this information comes from the Twitter leaker, comp 87 Kimi, and here's what he had to say about it. Quote, a truth, the power limits. 8102, 800 watts. 8103 desktop, 450 watts. 8103 mobile, 175 watts. 8104 desktop, 400 watts. 8104 mobile, 175 watts. 8106 desktop, 260 watts. And 8106 mobile, 140 watts. But I don't think we need to use the full power cap. So there you have it, according to comp 7 Kimi, who does appear to have some sort of inside information in NVIDIA, has he's gotten a lot of stuff right in the past. It looks like, yes, the top end SKU could end up drawing up to 800 watts, at least for its maximum limit. Now, before everybody panics, yes, 800 watts is really, really bad. However, I don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, even he said that he doesn't think they're going to need to use the full power limit. And honestly, guys, I think this could be in reference to maybe like the maximum power that they're going to allow you to do through software, or even what I think is going to be more likely is that they're talking to AIBs and they're saying, hey, 81 to 2, 40, 90 Ti, the absolute limit that we're going to allow you guys in terms of overclocking to push through this card is going to be 800 watts, you know, 8103, probably 450 watts. And so AIBs are going to be designing their cards to maybe be able to dissipate that amount of heat. However, out of the box, I don't think you're going to see that. I mean, 800 watts on a GPU is absolutely ridiculous. That would be terrible. And I don't think you're going to be seeing that. Honestly, I think 4090 Ti, 600 watts isn't out of the question. And then, you know, 
Model 40, 90, 450 watts definitely isn't out of the question. And even on the RTX 4080, I wouldn't be too surprised if you saw up to 400 watts. But yeah, up to 800 watts in the 4090 Ti, I think that's just pushing it way too far. And you're definitely not going to be seeing anything quite that high on the next generation. But now let's go ahead and wrap up this video by talking about Intel's ARC GPUs as it looks like, yes, they are finally here. And by here, I mean in China, not in the US. But yes, they did go on sale over in China. And it looks like if we go ahead and we take a look at the web page where they were listed, unfortunately, also the price is very, very high. Now, this could be a placeholder price. I honestly would be very, very shocked to see if this was the final price for this GPU as it's not going to be worth anywhere near this. But yes, according to the listing, it looks like if you go ahead and convert it to USD, it's going to be $5. $595 with that. Now that's completely insane. $600 for what is effectively going to be something that's competing with, I believe, like 6400, maybe RX 6500 levels of GPU makes no sense whatsoever. So yeah, I don't think you're going to see them uh, costing this much. And honestly, I'm not even sure if we're going to see the first generation of Intel cards show up over in the US at all. You know, hopefully they do. I would love to see more GPUs, even if there's not a bunch of them. Honestly, any competition is just great. However, considering how cheap GPUs are right now and how late to the party Intel is, I wouldn't be too surprised if they do go ahead and actually skip right on to Battle Mage before we see stuff in the US. And maybe they're going to go ahead and test this stuff over in China before bringing it over here because maybe they need a little bit more time to work on the drivers. But either way, Intel is making progress with their GPUs. They are finally going to be hitting store shelves. And hey, that's just going to be a good thing for gamers all around the world. But hey, that's just what I think. How much power do you think the RTX 4090 Ti is really going to draw? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.